Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to the Muslim Academy introduction presentation. Thank you for taking the time out today to watch and learn more about our virtual Islamic school. First, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Sister Amna Beg, and I am an academic advisor with the Academy. I have been a part of this team since 2015. I'm a New York State certified teacher with a bachelor's degree in elementary education and a master's degree in reading curriculum and instruction. I've taught in regular Islamic schools and online for the past 13 years. My role as an academic advisor entails a lot of different aspects, which I will go into detail a bit later. The Muslim Academy is the first online academy catering to Muslims around the world. We have students enrolled from many different countries. We offer a comprehensive curriculum for kids in all grade levels, and we have enrollment for Quran, Arabic, and Islamic studies classes and regular school subjects through our Little Muslims Elementary School, which ranges from kindergarten through fifth grade, our Young Companions Middle School, and our Jabal High School. Students can enroll in everything or just Quran and Arabic or just into one of the grade levels. In our Quran and Arabic program, students will have live instruction in English. For the other parts of our academy, we have a flexible self-paced program that is customized to meet the students' educational needs. Students can access their portal and assignments at any time and utilizing instruction through reading passages, videos, and animations, they'll be exposed to many multimedia interactive activities to understand the concepts. For our high schoolers, we also offer a wide range of electives alongside our core subjects. We have advanced ed accreditation for the curriculum that we use. They use a set of rigorous research-based standards and evidence-based criteria to examine the whole institution. So we are proud to offer students a curriculum that will be recognized as they move on to higher institutions. So why choose the Muslim Academy? The Academy started in 2013, so that means that we are not a pop-up pandemic online school. This means that we already have the groundwork and foundations set up with years of experience with online homeschooling. We have gone through our growing pains, and even though there is always room to improve, you can be rest assured that for the students joining our program, they are getting an established framework for success, inshallah. The Muslim Academy was not founded out of an opportunistic business idea, but because we believe in wanting what is good for our children. The founder and director of the Muslim Academy, Sister Rifat, is an experienced educator and has worked as an assistant principal in the past. She saw the need for giving our kids a better opportunity than the issues that she saw in the traditional school environment. And she worked extremely hard to bring her vision to life. Some benefits for students enrolled in our school are that there is a flexible learning path, monitored work, regular communication, and responsive staff. I will go over all of these points in greater detail. We also provide tutoring and curriculum support. Since this is a self-directed framework, students are consuming the content on their own. However, they may need additional support to understand or review a topic they want to before they take an assessment. Therefore, a tutor will be available during set office hours who students can contact in order to set up a session. Many self-study online courses do not offer this benefit. One other amazing asset that we offer to our students is something we call a creative class. What is a creative class? This is a live interactive session over video that students participate in once a week. Our teacher will group students into age groups and they will meet once a week to engage with each other and the teacher while doing a hands-on activity or project. Here are some projects that, that the students have done with their creative class teacher. Let's go over how the academy works. So first students will take an entrance assessment. This will help us determine the coursework that is appropriate for them. What's great about our program is that say your child is in fourth grade, but math is a strong point for them and they can do fifth grade level work. We can adjust the curriculum so that they are taking fourth grade for the rest of the subjects, but fifth grade math. 
After they have their logins, they will be able to see the dashboard with their subjects loaded. The curriculum is self-paced and everything is presented through a digital format so students can move at their own speed and the program can be accessed at any time. We have had students complete their coursework before the end of the year and they begin the next grade level if they choose to do so before the summer even starts. In most cases, there is instant grading, so students have quick feedback on their work. Once they submit an assessment, a quiz, or a test, the results will come back immediately. Parents will have their own login information where they can go and see the work that their child has completed and the grades. If there are written assignments in their lessons, they have an online writing assignment tool which will submit their work. I will go in and grade those written assignments and provide feedback and send it back to the kids through their portal. Our curriculum is Common Core aligned and we provide customized learning plans, as I mentioned earlier, based on the child's level. These are some advantages of our curriculum. The lessons are divided into small learning units. Each of the units and lessons have their own defined objectives. And as I had mentioned that the lessons can be customized to the level of each child. Each unit includes formative and summative assessments that measure the student's entry level knowledge and developing progress. This shows the framework of how the di digital lessons are formatted following a gradual release of responsibility model. Through reading passages and videos, students will first engage in a focus lesson to establish background and review. Next, they will have guided instruction content with examples for practicing. Afterwards, they will have a review lesson and some activities to enhance their le le learning through virtual labs, writing tools, and games. And finally, there will be independent practice and an assessment. All of this helps to make sure that there is proof of mastery. This is a screenshot of a student portal. Once the grade level and subjects are loaded for the students, they will log in and see their dashboard. I will now explain my role as an academic advisor. What my job is, is that I monitor the work that the students are submitting. Once they complete activities and assessments, I see their progress on my account. I also get to see how much time they are spending a day during work, doing work. If I see students are falling behind or skipping around too much, I will get in touch with the parents to help course correct before they keep on moving forward. At the beginning of the year, I also break down their yearly curriculum into monthly assignments so that they know how many units to complete every month in order to stay on track and finish the year on time. And this prevents students from scrambling at the end to finish up their grade level before the summer. If I see students are receiving low scores on lessons, I will reach out to them, the parents, and the tutor to make sure that they receive some assistance. Students are allowed to retake assessments if they get below a 60%, so this is a great opportunity to receive some tutoring instruction to grasp the concept better before retaking a quiz or a test. Now, let's deep dive into the curriculum a bit so that you can see how the lessons are presented. I am going to show you some lessons through the portal and some examples of how the activities are structured. So this is an example of a student dashboard and once they are logged in they will be able to see all of their subjects that are loaded. On the left side they will have a portfolio which we which they can access and see what their grades are, what activities they've completed, and parents will also have this access through their parent portal. They will have a grade book here where if they are submitting written assignments through the writing tool that is in the program, that will be submitted to me and I will be going through as an academic advisor, giving feedback and grading the writing assignments and sending the results and the grade back through the portal and they'll see a notification in their grade book. And the toolkit just has handy PDFs and guides that can help them through certain lessons. So I wanted to show you an example of what folders look like. Once you go into a subject, you will be able to see all of the units that are part of that subject. Each unit has folders inside 
that have their own lessons. And just as we went through the framework of how the lessons are structured, I wanted to go over a little bit and show you how the content is given digitally through videos and reading format. So here we have the four parts of the lesson. This one is specifically on main idea and theme for fiction stories. So you will see that they first are going to have an instruction lesson, then they'll have their guided practice, and then they will have independent practice and a quiz at the end to show their mastery in that lesson. bit of how the content is displayed. This is a lesson on determining the theme of a story. So it's going to first explain vocabulary words and show the students what they need to know. So how do you determine the theme of a story? To figure out the theme of a story, examine the details. First, look at what the characters do. Then think about what happens as a result of the character's actions. The second part of the lesson is going to help you through guided instruction and examples. So, for example, in this lesson, the students are going to be reading a passage and then questions will ask them about the theme or the main idea. What is amazing about this program is if the student gets a wrong answer, it's not just going to say, oh, that was wrong. This is the correct answer. Let's move on. It will actually go through why that answer doesn't make sense in that question and what the child, what the student needs to look out for in order to figure out the right answer. It will give you two times to try before they finally give you the right answer, but then they will also explain why that's the right answer. So for example, if I click the wrong answer here. This is certainly true, but the boy's nickname by itself is not the main idea of the story. I'd say you're missing a key idea from the story. Okay, so here is the math folder. Now, this is, again, fifth grade level, and it will go through all of the topics that fifth graders need to know according to the standards. Once we are inside a folder, the lessons, again, will go through videos and text and a lot of examples to show how to do that lesson. And at the end, there will, there will be a quiz. Listen, quiz. The quiz questions will be asked one at a Okay. So now these types of quizzes, um, they'll do the work. You know, um, there's some help icons here just on how to navigate the system if they're having trouble, but they will have these questions that they'll choose it and then they'll go to the next question. They'll choose it and then once they're done, they'll turn in and they will get their answers and what they've received. We do allow retakes on assessments if they fall below a 60%. So if there is an issue with any of the lessons, you can always retake that quiz and you can also set up um, tutoring with a tutor that will be on demand while you guys are working, while all the students are working. And so they'll be able to ask questions before they retake the quiz in case they needed any help with any of the questions or any of the topics in general. As you can see, we have a comprehensive plan here at the Muslim Academy to ensure your children receive quality home school education and parents can remain stress free. Thank you so much for watching this presentation. And if you have any questions, please be sure to email info at the Muslim and we will get back in touch with you as soon as possible, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum.